also saw, because I went to visit your exhibition for your degree show in Bangor recently, and it was fantastic. I loved it, as I mentioned to you, oh, that everyone you. had its own personality and they all had a way of um, how they related to each other in the space that they were occupying was interesting as well, because their coverage on the floor um, space that you'd used was also part of a, a patchwork of characters and interactions between the different pieces. But at the same time, you also had some hanging pieces. Can you tell us about the hanging pieces that you made? Um, yes, on there were two corners. On one corner, I was hanging these um, hand imprints I did with air dried clay. Mm. And they relate to the idea we were, we are always talking in terms of climate change about our CO2 footprint. Yeah. <clears throat> but obviously we are, we are making things with our hands. And of course I did my sculptures with, with my hands mm. and human beings are creating things and making things with their hands. So, and I was thinking of hand imprints mm. instead of footprints. I don't know where yeah. this CO2 footprint comes from. I thought hand imprint is much better than a foot imprint. So I, I was hanging these hand imprints above a certain um, rusty sculpture, which is a rust uh, a structure of a school furniture from 1906. 1906. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. And they all, because there was quite a lot of them as well, and they were different colors from white and brown. I mean, it yeah. wasn't different colours beyond white and brown, but because it was white and brown, it had this um, this lovely, again, uh, kind of interaction between the tone of the brown and the white being um, just shapes, again, of the actual impressions that you made in the play with your fist. But it was quite an interesting story you told me about how this came about. Would you mind sharing that story about how you actually came to make these sculptures? Do you mean the story with my with the woman I shared yeah. there? <laughs> Actually, um, the first time I used this hand imprint was in my fo um, previous module when I did a project ab about my history in East Germany. Mm. And I referred to a photograph where people were carrying flagpoles, you know, on a demonstration in East Germany. Yeah. And that's, that's the first, the first story about how did I come to this hand imprints holding this flagpole. So I, mm. I put this clay um, in around a, a stake or flagpole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I thought, oh my God, yes, that's that's nice. It's holding this flagpole, holding mm. on to something, an old ideology, or you know, it was all about ideology, and um, the flagpoles were standing for demonst the first of May demonstration, yeah, which was for the socialism, you know, for for the ideology. Mm. Um, but then the second story with my with the woman in in my studio was she was sitting at her desk all day and um, forming little bits and pieces for her project and very meticulous is, work you said really yes she is really system. into this mini as a really small bits and pieces and she sat for hours to make yeah. them and I just thought oh I. I could use some some of this clay somehow, and I took one or two pieces. As I I bought some for myself, mm. and put it around this flagpole and just um, what is it? Made <laughs> put a fist. My fist, yeah, made yeah. a fist, and yeah. put this imprint there. And I said to her, "Look, two minutes done." <laughs> <laughs>